morning, friends. Today I'm gonna do another what I eat in a day as a vegan. Yay! This is my second episode, so if you wanna see what I ate last time I ate all day, I ate it every day. If you wanna see what I ate last time, click the link below this video. But yeah! I already had a soy milk latte and a big glass of lemon water and I uh, drank those like I always do almost every morning while I answer emails and comments from my blog. Yay! And now I'm gonna quickly have some breakfast and then I have to go run out and get my eyes tested because I think I need glasses. We will see. I picked up this cereal at the grocery store the other day, but I thought the word veganic was pretty goofy, so obviously I bought it immediately. Who doesn't want chocolate first thing in the morning? I want chocolate first thing in the morning. I always try to get a bunch of fruit in in the morning because I love fruit and it's super good for you, so I'm gonna toss some raspberries in this chocolate cereal because raspberries and chocolates, I think so. So I just got my eyes tested to see if I need glasses. Apparently I do. This eye likes to think it's better than everyone else and likes to lead the way and this guy's just left behind doing nothing. That's what I learned today. So I'm just gonna have some lunch now. I have some leftover sweet Korean lentils which is one of the recipes I posted on my blog. I posted it maybe a month ago, maybe a little bit more and it is one of the most popular recipes on my blog, just like that. And I'm guessing the reason is it takes just 15 minutes to make and it tastes so good, so good. The rice took way longer to cook than the lentils. I picked some romaine lettuce leaves from my garden. If you don't have a garden, you can go to the grocery store. And this is one of my favorite ways to eat leftovers because I get a bunch of greenage in. It's delicious. I get to eat with my hands, all good things. Just gonna pile in some lentil goodness like so and some leftover rice. Sometimes I'll cut up extra veggies. Today I'm not going to because I'm lazy. I'll add a little extra sriracha because who doesn't like sriracha? And then I'll just roll it all up like a burrito. So good. It is so dark in here now. It's pouring rain out. Thunder! All right, and now it's time for me to make some dinner because I am getting hungry for dinner. <laughs> Good introduction. I'm gonna make tofu bolognese. The recipe is on my blog if you wanna make it. I'll put a link in the comments below. I've got my recipe over here that I'm looking at because I don't remember my own recipes. Just some soy sauce, olive oil, nutritional yeast, if you've never had nutritional yeast before, I recommend trying it. It's got kind of a nutty, cheesy kind of taste, so vegans are obsessed with it. Uh, the first time I tried it, I did not like it, but now it's like one of my favorite things. Mm. Got some chili powder, garlic powder. Sometimes people tell me, they're like, oh my God, vegan food is so bland. And I'm like, dude, Look in your spice cabinet. Your entire spice cabinet is vegan. Liquid smoke. If you've never heard of liquid smoke before, you can actually find it in the barbecue section. It'll be like right next to the barbecue sauces. It is basically the condensation collected from a fire. So it's natural, it's not a fake ingredient, and it really adds kind of like a smoky, meaty kind of flavor to things. So if you wanna get that flavor, that is where you use it. So I've got my seasonings in there. Very exciting. Just gonna make this kind of brown pasty business. That's exactly what we want. And then you take a block of tofu and you're just gonna crumble it all in there into kind of little ground textures. A lot of people are afraid of soy or tofu and here's the thing, okay? First of all, if you wanna be vegan, you don't have to eat tofu. If you don't like soy, you don't have to eat it. There's so many options, so much else is available, you really don't need to eat it. But if you're worried about it because of these claims of estrogen and all of that, it's just total baloney, it's not real at all. These are just myths that have been spread. Soy, just like any other bean, is just a bean. And it has all of the same kind of nutrients and fiber and all of those things that are really good for you. It doesn't contain any estrogen, believe it or not. It contains phytoestrogen, which is plant estrogen, and it doesn't react in your body the same way as real estrogen does. Do you know it does contain real estrogen? Animal products, particularly dairy. So if you actually want to avoid estrogen, switch to plants, avoid the animals. Stop blaming the bean. Oh, don't throw tofu. 
get in there. So I've got all my crumbles and I'm just gonna toss them well. Just getting in there with my hands. Clean hands, please. Cause uh, it's just a lot faster and easier sometimes. And it smells delicious. I always talk about smells in these videos, but you eat with your nose. No, you don't eat with your nose, but you know what I mean. They say that like you smell is an important part of, I don't know what I'm saying. Spread it as much as possible so it can dry out evenly. And then I'm just gonna pop this in the oven. You see, that took no time. My oven hasn't even heated up yet and I've already done most of the work of this recipe. Boom, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so for this pasta, I'm gonna be using good old regular store-bought tomato sauce. Don't tell my mom, she always makes tomato sauce from scratch. But I'm making the tofu from scratch. I feel like that's enough for this recipe. And I'm gonna be using uh, a brown rice pasta. You can use regular pasta. Most dried pastas are vegan. You might just wanna double check to make sure there's no egg, but most of them are vegan already. I'm opting for brown rice because I always try to go for whole grains over more processed stuff because you know it's better for you, but honestly I hate whole wheat pasta. Brown rice pasta, as long as you cook it the correct amount of time, tastes pretty much the same as regular pasta. And so it is my go-to, yes. Waiting for things to cook cause I'm hungry, la 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 la. I pulled the tofu out of the oven. You can see that the little bits are nice and dark and brown and the bigger bits are a little bit light. That's just what we want. So you just stir it in and the sauce will moisten it all up, make it lovely and chewy. And if you find that your sauce gets a little bit too thick, just add a little bit of water to thin it out. My pasta is cooked. I'm just gonna spoon over some of this gorgeous sauce. What? Check it, it looks amazing. I'm so excited, I, my stomach just growled like ferociously. A little bit of parmigan, which is my recipe for a vegan parmesan. Boom! Tell me you don't want that immediately. Delicious. And now I'm gonna have some popcorn in the stack while I go watch a movie. I love popcorn, I can eat truckloads of popcorn, but I try not to, um, and stick to one giant bowl as a reasonable portion of popcorn. <laughs> Uh, I got this new air popper, which I'm a big fan of, and then I like to sprinkle some salt and lots of nutritional yeast on top, and it is, it's so delicious. I just like it a lot, okay? Eating things is what I do. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and be sure to give my video a like and subscribe for more videos to come. Lots of delicious veganists to be had. Bon appetit again! <laughs>